Well, my contact with nature obviously is um, an urban nature, on uh, by and large. Um, uh, we passed the place this morning that I spent uh, about 10 years of my young life before the age of 12. Um, a single family residence on a, on a small lot where there were a series of single family residences and walking on a sidewalk and being able to walk to school. Also, we walked through about a four acre woodland to get to that elementary school. And so with uh, a gardening inclination or gardening going on uh, around me, uh, for two, my parents as well as my grandparents, as well as being in the woods and catching poison ivy and chiggers and chasing snakes and dogs, uh, there was a lot of exposure for a child in an urban situation. I didn't grow up in a place where there were a lot of parks as such, but that would have been a whole different scale. But for a young child, um, a small space can be a great challenge. And that four acre woodland that just happened not to be developed for whatever reason uh, became a forest of wonders for me. Um, we would, um, at, on summers, uh, for much of my uh, young life, uh, would go to the uh, mountains of Highlands, North Carolina, and uh, there it was uh, a, a different woodland experience, but it still was a, a resort environment, but uh, uh, there were other forms of nature and other plant materials. I guess I was always involved one way or another, whether it was having a shovel put in my hand to <laughs> dig up a rock or dig a hole for a plant. Um, that was the extent of it. Uh, mine was not a rural upbringing by any means, nor was it uh, an extremely urban um, situation either. But I, I think just the pattern that was set for me by my uh, mother and my uh, grandmother and two aunts who gardened mightily and loved it uh, was a kind of example for me. I was led into that. I was always good at drawing, um, sketching, so that it was an easy thing to put together. So inevitably I ended up in some sort of uh, line drawing relationship with nature. Um, that forest, um, the four acre forest now gone, meant a great deal to me uh, as a child. It was a place of exploration. Uh, there was a little stream. Uh, there were uh, tadpoles, occasionally a drunk, uh, <coughs> asleep in the woods. Um, but um, I think I was just fortunate uh, living at that place, that proximity to town uh, to have that resource. If I enjoyed this woodland across the street from me on West Peachtree as a child, it's because I always felt comfortable there. I was not threatened. It was bigger than I could ever see at one time from any one point. Uh, it was a thicket. It was an enclosure, and it had a roof, and it had an irregular floor. Um, uh, but I was never uncomfortable in that woodland. And part of it was because I knew it was just this size and I could relate to it as a small person. Um, but I, um, I feel the exact opposite. I feel discomfort when I look at that site now, not because I've lost something, but because it is barren. Uh, it is hot. It is without limits. Um, there happen to be two hard structural elements on the sides, and I now can see entirely through that block from one street to another. And uh, it's an uncomfortable place for me to be. I would not seek to go there. I can't imagine myself um, finding pleasure uh, in that location. <laughs>